Hi, this is Mike from Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and today I'm going to show you how to uh, remove a Fitbit Surge, or pretty much any Fitbit device for that matter, from your uh, Android application, and then also how to reinstall it should you be getting problems. Okay, so you've got your Fitbit device. Uh, this one is a Fitbit Surge, but this process is the same for all devices, be it the uh, Charge 2, uh, Charge, Alter, whatever they call it, any of the new devices, they all work in the same way within the application. This is gonna be the uh, Android version, so I'm gonna show you how to remove the device and then reinstall it should it be causing you problems. Uh, either it's not synchronizing properly or its uh, information is incorrect or if you just want to remove the device and pass on to somebody else. If you follow this procedure and then don't add it back in after, after about 24 hours or so, the device will become unregistered and will uh, lose or remove all of its data. So that's worth bearing in mind if you want to uh, give a device away or pass it on to a family member, etc. So first of all, let's go into the app. So if you go to your Android phone and click on your Fitbit application, and as you can see, at the moment, mine is working fine. It's synchronizing, and you can see the bar going across at the top. So it's transferring the data into the application at the moment. But for this process, uh, we want to remove the device. So there's two ways of doing it. You can either click on the, uh, the watch icon or in the top uh, right-hand corner, or you can click on the account icon at the bottom. Now, if you click on the account icon, you'll see um, your other devices on your account. Uh, I've got an ARIA Scales upstairs, which is uh, on the account, and I've also got my Surge. Uh, if I go back and open that again, and then if I click on the uh, icon at the top for my tracker, it'll take me straight into the Fitbit Surge. So you can go into it various ways. Uh, there isn't a right way or a wrong way. Uh, choose for yourself. So first of all, thing to do is if you've got any data on there you don't want to lose obviously try and synchronize it first before you do this uh, this will essentially lose any data once you follow the second half of the process anyway so if you want to get rid of the device all you have to do is click on the trash can icon in the top right hand corner and you get the information there uh, remove this search from your account any unsynced data will be lost so if you're sure you want to do this you go ahead and click unpair now, unpair is different from remove or erase. When you're unpairing, you're not only taking it away from your own personal account, you're also removing it from the uh, Bluetooth devices. So we're going to go ahead and click unpair. And now I'll go through and remove the device's settings from both your Bluetooth settings and from the device, uh, sorry, and your application. So now if you go back to the account, so, actually, before we go too far, if you leave it in this particular setting now as it is, without the device in your account, after about, well, a few hours or a day, maybe even two days, depending on how busy the Fitbit servers are, um, if you leave it like this now, as the clock rolls on, this will eventually lose all its data as it's realized it's not paired with an account. So, this is one way of erasing all your data from your Fitbit device. But if you're just doing this because you're having issues or it's uh, not tracking you properly, then you have to do this next part, which is to add the device again. So if we click on account again, and you can see here I've still got my ARIA scales listed, uh, but I've got no other devices, so we want to go ahead now and set up a device. So now Fitbit app will ask you, uh, what tracker are you trying to set up? Now obviously this application may change over time, but the, uh, the principles are exactly the same. And my Wi-Fi is incredibly slow, so do bear with. And here is a list of your trackers. So it's the Ionic, Charge 2, Alta, Blaze, etc., etc. So scroll down through to select your device. And in this particular instance, it's a Fitbit Surge. So we'll choose the Fitbit Surge. So it shows you a graphical representation of what the Surge looks like, uh, just in case you've selected the wrong, uh, wrong, wrong tracker. So, but we want to go ahead and do it, so we'll set up our Fitbit Surge. So you have to accept the terms and conditions of the privacy policy, because obviously any data you're sending from this to this goes through Fitbit servers, etc. So you have to agree to that. Um, gives you a brief sort of introduction to your Surge, but if you're just doing this 
to reconnect then obviously you know this so yada 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 and because the surge is already on it's uh, Bluetooth has found it and it says it's connecting so now your Fitbit surge will be displaying a four digit number which is what you need to type into your phone so I'm going to go ahead and put that in so 4166 now this, uh, this number isn't by any means unique or um, contain any sort of crypto, crypto, cryptography? No, what am I looking for? It's, it basically, it's not secure, so it doesn't matter. It's a randomly generated number. It doesn't track to you or the device, so uh, don't be uh, paranoid about that number. So, that's connected. Now it's just giving you some information on how to, uh, how to use the device, how to keep it clean and dry, yeah, whatever, and about the touch screen and tracking exercise. <laughs> And you're all set. So that is the device now put back into my account. And there we go. There's my Aria and there's my Fitbit Surge, which is now sync in as it should do. So that's how to uh, remove and reinstall a Fitbit device on the Android application. Um, obviously, this also works for removing your data in its entirety, as I said. Just don't do the second part of this video. But if you've got any questions or any comments on this video or anything you're not sure of, please feel free to hit me up in the comments below. But I've been Mike. This is Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To. And look forward to seeing you again in the next video. Thanks for watching.